Amanda here from createyourfuture.co. So today we have Erica joining us. Hi, Erica. Hi, Amanda. Hi, everybody. Hey, guys. We have a really exciting video. We have part two of um, the success story that aired in, on September 24th in the video, How to Make Yourself Irresistible to Him, featuring Erica. So this same client, she has submitted more of the success story that she has gotten after that. Now he makes her priority, spends more time with her, um, planned and organized her birthday gathering. So absolutely amazing. So of course, we're going to read through the success story. And then we're going to give you some tips on how you can create this in your reality. And stay tuned until the end, because I have a list of intentions for you. Okay, so <laughs> awesome. Welcome, America. <laughs> Thanks, Amanda. Okay, she says, I revised the guys I liked in the past being my boyfriends, being in long committed relationships, and doing with more sub concept. I've seen so much movement, movement than just with SP affirmations. Now, my SP is more devoted to me. He spends more time with me and he even planned and organized my birthday gathering where he showed up exactly as I wanted. He even makes me his priority and when his plans are canceled, he always wants to spend time with me. He even gave his card when we were buying my birthday cake to buy more things if I would like. He also shares with me more personal things. He's emotionally open with me. He's showing more and more his feelings towards me. Is like a completely different version of the guy I originally met, and I know I change him with my assumptions and intentions. Definitely doing more self-concept intentions and a morning rampage where I just focus on being the god of my reality and my life being perfect has helped me so much in changing my old beliefs. And this was something you told me you do every day, Erica. You start your day with a rampage and your day turns out perfectly. I'm glad that with our one and only session we got, I asked a lot on revision, assumptions, old stories, and get everything cleared up. It took me a while to grasp everything clearly, but here I am improving my life so much and my SP. Also, I made the assumption that when I say I am a Victoria's Secret model, I don't mean actually modeling. I gave the meaning to that affirmation of being a confident, sexy, valued woman who has my man committed to me, everyone flatters me, and guess what? I receive compliments every day from friends and random people. This is what Amanda and you say, that words are meaningless, and we assign a meaning to them. I also remember saying that to assume my intentions and not paying attention to uh, what our 3D is showing us, and to persist, 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 no matter what. Yay. Oh, that's so amazing. Good for her. I oh, love it. Her. I'm taking that. I'm taking that. I'm a Victoria's Secrets <laughs> model. I know. I love it too. <laughs> I'm taking that. I'm taking that. That's amazing. The other thing that really stands out, you know, and, and I do this too in the morning is every morning before I even get out of bed, I remind myself, everyone is you pushed out. I remind myself how blessed I am to have everything in my life. And then I start to do intentions on how I want the day to go, how I want to feel you know, before I actually get out and start my day. And if I miss that, things just seem to be off a little bit, you know, like sometimes, not always, but, you know, on the odd day, you know, it's like, wait a minute, you know. And, you know, I, I'll be honest, I go back to that every once in a while throughout the day as well, just to be like, okay, you know what, get a hold of yourself, you know, especially when I'm on the verge of reacting to something, you know, and I'm like assuming people are their own free will and accord, right, you know. Right. <laughs> Right. So, so yeah, I love as soon as I wake up, my mind just immediately starts affirming. I think I've trained my mind really well and I do a lot of self-concept affirmations. I'm also now I'm thankful. Like I'm thankful that I have an opportunity for another day to create the life that I deserve to have. And I I set my intention. I intend to have an amazing day. Now before when I used to go to another job, every time I was driving to my job, that's something that other people can do, I will intend, I intend to have an easy and enjoyable day at work. Everyone loves what I do, right? I'm one of the best employees, etc. And I will see my day going really good. On the days that I will forget about it, because maybe I was just, you know, oh, I'm late, whatever, right? I will notice the difference. So it's, I think it really helps setting up your day in the right way with affirmation. Exactly. Yeah, exactly, exactly, you know? Now, she also said something very important at the end of her story, before I forget. She mentioned the 3D. 
I really want people to see the 3D for what it is. It's just the old story, right? It's just something you created with how you were thinking in the past, your old assumptions. That's not you anymore. Just look at the 3D for evidence of what you manifested in the past and assume the opposite of whatever is showing up if you don't like it, right? Mm -hmm. That's right. You know, it's just past manifestation. Your, right. your 3D is always just a few minutes behind, you know, sometimes even more than minutes. It could be a week behind, mm -hmm. you know, with what your state of mind was, right? So always remember that, you know, and if, if whatever you see in your 3D, you create it, take responsibility for it. Because by taking responsibility for creating it, it means you can change it, right? Mm -hmm. It's when we think that we have no control over anything that now we're just powerless, right? Mm -hmm. And don't give your power away, you know, you can change the way that you view events. You can choose your feelings, you can choose your reactions. One of the most important things that I had ever heard anywhere was that nobody can make you feel anything. You choose to feel the way that you feel. And that was really big because you know how when you're younger, it's like, oh, you made me mad. You made me angry. You made me upset. Yeah. No, you hurt my feelings. No, nobody can hurt you. I'm the only one that can choose to feel hurt or to not feel hurt, right? And once we realize that, then that's really when things start to shift, right? And this isn't even just with the law of attraction. I mean, psych psychology and counseling and therapy, they all talk about you are the only one that have power and control over your emotions and the way that you view things in the outer world, right? Exactly. So yeah, for yeah. example, I, I like to, you know, to see the 4D, what I'm thinking in my mind about everyone in my life, I feel like that that version of that person in my mind is more important than the 3D because that version in my mind where I'm saying my person is amazing to me, loving, faithful, etc., and my self-concept, that's going to eventually show up out into the 3D. So that's where I put the importance and whatever I'm thinking, what's my inner conversations about my relationships, right? Exactly. Exactly. And then you had mentioned a few other points there earlier that you wanted to touch on. Visualization you were talking about, I remember. Yeah. So I don't think a lot of people have, they say they have trouble visualizing, right? I don't think it's really necessary, but I really believe that your thoughts are important because your, thought cre you, your thoughts create, right? And what is visualizing is just putting those thoughts into image form, right? Just like when you're scripting, you're putting your thoughts into, you know, written form. But I think that maybe visualizing is not that super important if you don't think it's something that you like doing, but make sure that your thoughts are always based on what you want to manifest. Always think base, best case scenario, your best assumptions about the people in your life your self-concept should be really high, right? Yeah, you, you, you nailed it, right? Now, I mean, just to bring a little piece of, of how the brain works in here, your subconscious mind, all of your guys' subconscious minds only see in pictures, okay? So it automatically will create an image with every thought that you think anyway. So when you think of milk, you're automatically going to picture milk. If I say, don't think of a blue duck, you just thought of a blue duck. Maybe it's got yellow gumboots on. Maybe you made it purple. I mean, whichever. But you, your subconscious mind will create the pictures for you, so you don't necessarily need to visualize. I haven't sat down and done a visualization scene in a very long time, and I'm very successful because I do what Erica says. I just keep my actual thoughts focused on what I want that my in in my interior dialogue, right? You'll automatically create the picture from your, your subconscious mind will already do that for you because it has to, it has no other way. It only sees in pictures, right? Exactly. Now, I don't know what, now that you were mentioning things to imagine, I immediately thought a lemon. Doesn't your mouth immediately starts watering as if you were already eating or you know, exactly. eating a lemon? That's crazy. Exactly. Your brain doesn't know the difference between what you imagine and what's in your, your 3D world anyway, exactly. right? So that's the only thing that, that is real is what's in your 4D world, right? You know, and we'll create everything to mean what we want it to be when we, you know, when we make an intention, we'll see all the evidence that'll, that'll conform to that intention, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Now, if you want to visualize, you can do it and you don't have to make a huge, right? A huge story just create a very short scene that represents mm -hmm. that you already have what you want for example a relationship create a very short scene that represents that you and your person are already together in a committed relationship right yeah. 
And then you could even add the congratulatory in there as well, mm -hmm. where you and your person are standing together and somebody says, oh, you're a beautiful couple or something. Right. So always dragging that in, dragging that, bringing that component in there too, will actually now bring more to creating that. But one thing that I do want to add in there is even if you visualize, you still have to do a mental diet because right. you can visualize. And if you're not on top of your thoughts all day, you're just basically blocking your visualization okay there is no way around being on top of your thoughts there's no way around it <laughs> yeah, like for example you do scripting at night or you're visualizing at night but what are you doing the rest of the day if we have seventy thousand thoughts a day if you're visualizing let's say for 30 minutes but the rest of the day you're thinking of not having what you want well put them on a scale which one wins right which one is exactly so exactly you're throughout the day you're thinking best case scenario right you're thinking about what you want you think that you already have what you want you're assuming i already have that relationship right right well you know and how i look at it right and and one thing is i think is important is i look at the subconscious mind like malleable clay okay mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. i can i can move it into something but it can always be reshifted into something else so it, it's not like you visualize a scene you lock it into the subconscious and it's there forever no. gosh no what happens if you, it's always malleable so it's always just a matter after you put it into what you want as upkeep Right. So, you know, I mean, I've got a great relationship. So now it's just upkeep, you know, every once in a while, maybe something will pop up that I created that I don't like. Oh, got to change that. Right. Whereas in the beginning, it was like all this building and all this energy went to just building it. And then I finally built it and I like it. OK, good. And now it's just upkeep. So, you know, but nothing is ever, you know, there's no easy way where you can't even hypnotize yourself and say, that's it. You're, you, that's it. You're, you can even undo hypnosis. That it's mm -hmm. easy, to, you know, because your conscious mind is constantly reprogramming your subconscious mind to what the thoughts you're holding in your conscious mind are. So there's no way to stick anything in your subconscious and leave it there and do whatever you want, and it stays there. That's not how this works. No, <laughs> <laughs> not how this works. <laughs> some, day, some days I wished it was, but at the same time, no, because you know what happens if you change your mind about something right exactly. if we didn't have the power to reprogram it well then that's it you made a choice you got that installed you're stuck with it for life now <laughs> no exactly right? it's you like know? you're working with plato i like to think as plato we're not working with cement we're like oops we messed up now you have to deal with it that's right. no. yeah exactly you know even though sometimes when things are going good you know we'd like just to be stuck in there and it never changes but yeah that's unfortunately <laughs> you can always change it with your your thoughts right you are the upper and right. power of your reality now exactly. uh, she also mentioned something super important how she revises on the spot right mm. i think i've i've used that in my relationships especially with my boyfriend and for example let's say that he said something that i didn't like it's okay for you to be upset at the moment but when you're upset instead of thinking oh like he's rude or he doesn't respect me or whatever negative i'm upset right but in in that moment i'm like i'm respected i'm loved i'm valued etc and then i mm -hmm. think about him He's so loving, so respectful, so patient, so understanding. And I swear to you, man, that like a couple of minutes later, five minutes later, tops, he comes back and apologizes to me. When I mm -hmm. used to have an old idea of him that he's not the type of guy that apologizes. Well, now I've used that yeah. revising on the spot and it's like magic. He comes back and apologizes. So it's oh, yeah. okay to yeah. feel the emotions, right? To be sad, to be upset, but at the moment, still stick to your positive thoughts right revise on the spot it works yeah very powerful i do it all the time too i can turn things around like that you know it, when, when, and you, when you do revising on the spot so often like it just you don't react anymore you're like I just intentions are revising is a is revision right also changing the meaning that's a way to revise so very very important the revising on the spot love that exactly now she yeah. also said that she uses the word always in her affirmations right and when she's revising those old relationships instead mm -hmm. of saying i guys have always left me or i always get cheated on no she changed that to say i've always been in loving relationships the the guys in my life always commit to me so i think it's a really powerful word to use in your affirmations right always right. Very good. Always. As long as you always want it to be always, right? 
No. <laughs> That's always <laughs> but you can say I'm always chosen, I'm always loved, I'm always respected, I'm always yes. wanted, I'm I always get what I want. Things always work out for me. Use it in a positive way, right? Exactly. Exactly. No, those are very good. She's those are very, very, very good um, things to change. Mm -hmm. You know, um, if you are looking to, you know, change the way that your relationship is, is revising on the spot is the big one, because, you know, that's going to change the way the person shows up, right? So, you know, if you want them to be caring, then you've got to revise the meaning of their actions that you give when you think that they're uncaring, you have to change it to caring, right? If you never want them to treat you badly, never see their behavior as treating you badly, right? Mm -hmm. And never take anything personally, right? That makes it so much easier because if we take it personally, then we got to change that we're good enough and that, you know, yeah. <laughs> people love us. And then, then we've got to revise their behavior, right? Exactly. Yeah. And one last thing that she mentioned that I thought was really cool, how she uses affirmations that feel natural to her. Mm -hmm. so love it. Yeah. Use, for example, me, I'm a Latina. I always like to, you know, amplify things. Like, for example, instead of saying I'm a strong magnet, I'm a magnet of everything I love, want, and desire. I'm like, I'm a super strong magnet of everything I love, want, and desire. <laughs> so add your own language, the way you talk, right? Use right. affirmations that feel natural to you. The style that you use for, for expressing yourself. Right. Exactly. Exactly. And that leads us right into intentions that I have for you guys. I'm taking these right out of the success story because I think she did so well with them. So these are intentions to basically be a priority. Okay. So I intend my specific person spends more time with me. And where I say specific person, you can add in your person's name. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, I intend for him to plan and organize my birthday or for him to plan and organize Christmas for me or at any holiday or anything. Plan and organize a date. Mm, I like that one. Um, I intend for him to show up exactly the way I intend him to. I intend that he makes me a priority and he constantly cancels plans with his friends for me. Mm, I like that. Mm. Uh, <laughs> I intend he always wants to spend time with me. And um. I intend he shares personal things with me. I intend he's emotionally open with me. I intend he's emotionally intelligent. And I intend he shows his feelings towards me. Um, also, I would put in there some of these. Um, I would say that um, I intend to feel like a confident, sexy, valued woman. I intend to feel have a man that's committed to me. I intend that everyone flatters me. And I intend to receive compliments every day from friends and random people. And I intend to feel good about myself. Yeah, absolutely. I love them. And I am a Victoria's Secret model. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And I am a Victoria's Secret model. I'm feeling down. <laughs> Inside and out. <laughs> That is absolutely amazing. Well, guys, I'm sorry. I don't have any of those intentions written down. So I'm so sorry. <laughs> I've shared them. But thank you, Erica, for being here today. No, oh, thanks, Amanda. And thanks, everybody, for listening and for our wonderful clients that share their stories with us because they want to inspire everyone else and, you know, help them believe exactly. we can do it too, right? I know. It's so awesome. And it's so awesome to see how she's still getting continued success from the coaching that she did with you. So guys, if you guys would like any extra help, you know, getting intentions, finding your blocks, getting an action plan, definitely check out the link in the description below. Erica is available for coaching. So definitely check it out. And guys, thank you for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.